Hey guys, welcome back to today's video. We missed you guys so much yesterday. We got Sophie here making breakfast. She's had a shower, washed her hair. How's it feel? In my face. <laughs> We're trying out this new shampoo that I discovered and I love it. It makes my hair like feel... Before we started using this shampoo, we had so much residue in our hair and we couldn't get rid of it. I thought it was our water, but possibly it was just like a buildup and I started using something new and it just feels so much better. It smells so much better too. Stopping for coffee or not? We are stopping for coffee. So one thing you guys missed yesterday is Gabby went to her next week's chiropractic appointment and was it painful, Gabby? Yeah. Do you feel better today? No. No, Gabby hates chiropractic care, but we learned insane amounts of stuff. Uh, I've told you guys in other videos that Gabby always puts her right side, entire side forward in the saddle, and it's been causing problems with our horses, tilting their head to the right all the time, and people are noticing that. You know, why the heck are you keeping your head tilted to the right? And um, it's because Gabby systematically pulls him to the right all the time because of how her body sits and we um, have a chiropractor readjust our horses all the time just to make sure it never becomes a big problem and Brennan said a few weeks ago it's time for Gabby to do the chiropractor so we have been taking Gabby to the chiropractor and this is what she found yesterday yesterday the chiropractor found that her entire right side tilts forward she doesn't have as much range of motion on that side it's just all out of whack and was worse than she originally thought and so uh, Gabby's been doing exercises been getting adjusted and she's going every week for a short time to see if we can fix it but yeah that is what you missed yesterday it is a snow day in Ontario a lot of school buses were cancelled so kids are getting an extra day off of school we got a lot of snow out there I'll show you when we get to the barn we are racing to the barn did you notice Sophie went around the back of the car she does that she does that now because what? in the past we've honked the horn when she's gone <laughs> oh. Over the front. Oh. It was stuck, guys. It was stuck. The door was stuck. It is snowy and cold and wintry, but we are going to the barn to meet our chiropractor. Oh, I have to stop and get money too. Oh, man, there's just so much to do. So we are going there. I'm excited. We haven't seen her since before Christmas, and it's time to get the boys uh, chiropractor again. We I told you guys recently that we've been switching it up. We do chiropractor one time, massage the next, chiropractor the next, massage the next. We find that chiropractor does amazing at resetting our horses while our kids are learning. And also we find the massage is really good too. I love both of those things. We've also done things like acupuncture with our horses. We've also done things like um, femur treatments, if you guys know what that is. We've done that a bunch of times. We've also done, what else have we done with our, what other kind of treatments have we done? Beamer treatments with Storm. We've done a Beamer with Storm, we've done Beamer with Penny, we've done a Beamer with Chino, we've done, like, the only one who doesn't get the most treatments is Finny. Because he never gets hurt. He's always healthy, his back is always good, his body is always good, and he's always like, ponies are so versatile, but anyway. Let's go to the barn and let's check Chino's abscess. History in the making, you guys. We are in the drive-thru for coffee and we see truckers getting ready for, uh, see uh, truckers going for a drive-by protest trying to uh, get people to join the cause to go to Toronto and to Ottawa to fight for our freedom in Canada, you guys. Like, it's starting never been like a part of it they have a loudspeaker out there and they're giving everybody pep talks and telling them what to do oh hi handsome where's chino oh hi you guys are hanging out in the shelter today hi we're bringing you new grain today oh look at he's got icicles on his nose chino never likes to go inside like he never likes to go through doorways. We go out, he doesn't like to. He doesn't like to go in or out. Come on. I know you're pooping. Come on. It's really cold today. No wonder they're in the shelter. Good boy. Having three horses is hard because Gabby has to go on her own and I'm the common mom that knows that anything could happen like we have never had like a lot of accidents and stuff because i'm always watching but here she comes she's safe she's good she's probably frozen 
Well, she's got gray finny. Uh oh, his strap is undone. Look at all the snow. She knows walking a lot better. He looks like he's been through the war with his blanket. Reggie. Reggie. Hi, Graven. <laughs> yes, there were other horses here before you. Good boys licking. Well, Gabby brought Finn in, Gray Finn in, to play with him, and he is not a playing horse. <laughs> she's like, you can do it, you can do it. So uh, she's like throwing things over top of him, throwing things underneath him, flowers. And he actually just started spooking. He hasn't even like been moving or spooking at all. But one thing I noticed about him, a huge thing, the difference between like a child owner and an adult owner is that children like play with their horses and, and like, like Finn doesn't come running to her and he doesn't have any expectations from her. Wait till it falls. <laughs> Wait till it falls. He's like, help, I have flowers on my head and I can't get them off. <laughs> not into it. I took him away from hay. Yeah, and it's really cold out today, so he's like not that excited. But just seeing Finn and how he's responding to Gabby, like not really paying much attention to her and stuff, makes me realize that how attentive our horses are to us. Like all of our horses are so like used to us and bonded with us and understand that we love to play and stuff. So this is the beginning of that, you guys. This is the beginning of Gabby making Gray Finn her own and getting an opportunity to spend time with him. Yeah. You couldn't even see it. Don't. <laughs> I'm gonna throw it One day he'll be just like Chino and she'll throw stuff at him and he won't even care. But he hardly cares. So I'll take a video of that again, like her playing with him again in the next, like, few weeks as we get going and see if we can see their bond grow because honestly like it's shocking to me how much it takes to build a bond with a horse we're just checking to see how chino's moving his abscess popped it's so tiny looking good don't buck around me i don't like it <laughs> thin thin and sophie <laughs> So he's like, help! He's like, help! Don't lead him to us! <laughs> so we're just running, we're just letting the horses move around. Chino has abscess, it popped. It was super tiny. We just wanted to get him moving because it will help and also see how he's doing. Nothing I like more than my kids like playing with their horses. Watch out, here he comes. <laughs> Wow. This smells like horse. I don't like it. <laughs> you smell like horse. <laughs> he does. You know how sometimes horses smell like really good and then sometimes they smell like rotting hay? Let me smell. Yeah, like oh. I lost my just a weird smell. smell. Sophie lost her sense of smell. <laughs> Your hair looks really good. <sighs> you know, just the fact that we have these horses to play with and spend time with even though it's freezing cold and we're out here on a freezing cold day it makes us happy what are your thoughts will he run straight to me or will he keep running with gabby so if this was sophie's dog he would run straight to sophie so what do we think i think he's gonna run straight to me you think he's gonna run straight to you chino's over here okay three two one go oh. <laughs> You kidnap her horse. <laughs> like one thing about Sophie, she can bond with a horse. Like her horse loves her. Look at him. It's like he just gave you the finger, Gabby. He wrote. He ran by Gabby and like flung his head at her. That was funny. You need to ride him more. Look, look, he stays with her. We're gonna see what Chino does now. But you know what? I was just thinking about a comment that I got. I got a bunch of comments from this one girl and she said that she doesn't feel Gabby was grateful enough about her lease with Gray Finn from having seen like a five second clip. And after me saying like Gabby's awkward and doesn't feel comfortable sharing emotions on camera, she feels that 
Gabby's not think grateful enough. And it just makes me wonder, like, who gets to decide if you're grateful? <laughs> not strangers. When people say you're not enough, it means that they're saying you're not enough for them. And if you're not enough for them, then that's okay, because it's not about them. Her life is about her own self. All right. <laughs> Finn said you're not going to my girl. Oh, he went to her. He loves her. Finn said, get away from my girl. Like, it's just funny. But when people say you're not enough, it's a problem with them, you guys. It's, you don't ever have to be enough for someone else. You only have to be enough for you. So go out there and be enough for you. Forgive yourself your mistakes. Love who you are inside. Strive to be better today than you were yesterday. And it's enough. It's good enough. And you can do it any way you like. Okay, hurry up. Get, get Finn in the cross ties. We're late. We're not late, but she just arrived. I don't like to keep people waiting. Go! Cool. Gabby, you need to clean his foot and put a new dressing on with the, with the poultice pad. All right, so Chino's done. Or no, Finn's done. I don't know what if there was anything like she always tells us what she adjusted and what where he was out and if he was adjusting well and he usually is adjusting well so he's gonna get his blanket on because it's cold our our horses love the chiropractor like they don't mind it at all and now it's chino's turn you ready chino right chino's turn got elizabeth here elizabeth say hi Elizabeth is at the barn even though she's not at the barn. <laughs> All right, come on out big guy. I don't know if you can see if Chino's abscess. It's just this teeny tiny little spot on his toe. I am frozen you guys. So a chiropractor came and I'm she frozen. told us that Chino looks like a whole different horse since she saw him last. She said that you he's gained. Yes, you need water. Go outside. She said that he's gained a lot of weight and looks really robust and healthy. Gabby says that's not a compliment, but it is a compliment. So she also said that he is way more spicy, like sassy, which if you guys know Chino, it's a good thing because in the past he's had times where he's been like, almost seemed like he was depressed and low and just seemed sad and uh, now he's like spicy and has energy and is like spicy. And it's like <laughs> thinks it's full of himself and thinks he has like has say and stuff. And I love that. And so she said that. And she said that his body condition, like everything about him, she said like he turned out great. Like I had to come to the car because I've been in the barn for like the last two hours and I'm so cold, you guys. So anyway, the farrier or the chiropractor said that Chino was the best he's ever been. All the things we've changed are really working for him, she said, and that made me happy and made me proud that he's doing well. Uh, Finn was good. He's always good. He's a pony, super versatile, but um, I like to get him readjusted and reset, make sure that he's always feeling good. But Chino had his best exam ever. That makes me happy. The thing is, the reason I like her coming is because she is a vet. She is a vet, and so she knows so much, and she's like a resource that we have to help us and figure, like I figure out so much talking to her and, so yeah, that's done. We can go home because I'm frozen. My fingers are frozen. Don't you know that you're beautiful?